if you are always collecting these four things you have to stop immediately these are the four things that you don't need to collect from people or give out to anyone at all costs so be blessed as you tune in i welcome you all back to my channel so as i've been the channel is for spiritual wedding tips if you do love strategies you are the right channel this channel can help you greatly prayers and powerful strategies which you need to apply with your faith and to see things turn around for your own good so be blessed as you tune in so if you haven't subscribed to the channel kindly subscribe to the channel share this video to your loved one give it a thumbs up be blessed as you do and i also use this opportunity to also thank all my current subscribers i bless your day i pray that our good lord will always grant your prayer request and be with you always in jesus name so on today's video i want to share with you um four things that you shouldn't collect from anybody yes it is very very important that are the things that are the things that brings a lot of evil spirit in your home in your life which you don't know yeah there are so many ways for everyone to always come into your life so beware of this four thing and stop giving it out you can only give a used thing out when you don't want to use them anymore that one is okay but giving up giving out something that you are using to take back and start using it again it is not normal yes it's not normal collecting or giving it is not normal you have to stop it now number one thing that you shouldn't give, you shouldn't be giving out is your wig wig your head wearing this one goes for the ladies it's not normal do not give do not receive do you know that your head is your crown someone can take away your crown through by giving you wig or head wearing so you should stop it now if you are admiring anyone, anyway, you have to cause for it. You have to ask God for money. There are so many situations which you can do to receive miracle, to receive money. Then seek for God's intervention. Hope on God. Money will come for you to buy that with or headway which you admire so much. That will be best as you do. So if you are once guilty of it, you have to stop it now. It adds no meaning to your life. Rather, they will take away your glory. So be blessed as you do. So number two things that you shouldn't collect from people at all costs is padlock. I know that one is not necessary. Yes, but in enemies of you taking on someone's padlock, which you know that person will still need it back. Or maybe your own spot and you want to lock up your shop or your house. Any in any means that you needed to borrow padlock to lock something. You should stop it. You are locking your destiny. You are locking good things that is about to happen in your life. Hustle for money, buy it. Make sure you buy it. It is better for you to borrow money from someone which you know you pay back and buy that padlock unlock whatever you want to lock than bring the padlock to lock something that belongs to you your belonging you bring something you borrow it to lock something and to return it back no they can use it to do what to do all manner of evil to you so you should let go of Burying padlock, anything that seems to be padlock key to lock something, you should let go of burying from anybody, be it anybody. It's not normal. Yes, it is not normal. It is not normal. You should stop it now. So, number three thing that you should avoid is any use item. Any use item, like maybe. Um, you needed, uh, let me say, you needed matches, which you know you need to return it back. It is not normal. Go outside and buy yours. You needed a knife, which you know you return it back. It is not normal. You need to buy yours. Yes. Just like mirror. Many ladies always buy mirrors. And these are the most reason most of them are not married yet. Yes. You don't know what that person is doing with his own mirror. 
if if God reveals to you what people are doing secretively, the hidden things that people are doing that is hidden, you will be shocked. You know, mirror is a reflection. Mirror is only ten. Apart from camera, mirror is another ten. First ten before camera comes to existence, which you can only see, which you can only see to see your image. And you know what it is to see someone's image. When they see your image, they have grabbed your information. Remember, when someone is lost, when the image is showed, they can use that image to identify that person, to know if they could know that person. So you should let go of taking borrowing mirror from your neighbor, from your friends. Go out there and buy yours. There are big ones, there are small ones, there are smallest ones which you can avoid. Then buy it, start making use of it. Purchase for it. Find money and purchase for it than borrowing from someone. Okay? So, number four thing that you should let go of is salt. Maybe you are cooking and you realize that your salt has finished, you are, you, you are asking your neighbor to give you salt. Uh, it is not normal. The only way you can make it of salt if you can have the access to go on that person's kitchen and take the one that which you know that they are using. But in the state that that person is the one giving you, you don't know what he might have used the salt for. Maybe he, he, might, he might have used it for spiritual work. And remember, salt is a powerful spiritual to switch you have use the salt for, for spiritual cleansing or any other thing when you use it you are you are doing what you are cleaning yourself you are cleaning yourself you are taking something that someone have casted in him his or her life so if you are once guilty of this you ask for mercy you ask for mercy yes and when you are done asking for mercy you read some 91 for protection. After you're done with that protection, then you go on with some 23 and do what? And be free from all those negative things. So be blessed as you do. These are the four things that you should let go with. Stop giving it out to anybody. Anything that concerns your head way. Stop giving. The only thing you can give out to somebody is something that you know you're not you know you're not gonna use again. Yes, it is normal to pack all your clothes. To pack all the clothes you, you, you don't like wearing again, or you want to give it out, it is normal to give it out. But in the state that you will give out, you, you take it back to use, it is not normal. It comes back with a lot of bad luck. Nothing good comes from it. It's either you give and say, hey, do not return back, I dash you. But in the state that you, you give for that person to return it back, it is not normal. So stop it now. Stop it now, okay? Stop it now. For you to always be giving back your freedom. For you to always be giving back your peace. For you to always be giving back your version. Okay? So be blessed as you do. I'm done for today's video. The fourth thing that you should let go is your weed. Stop giving it out. Number three is your padlock. Don't give, don't take. Number four is every of your used thing, your mirror. Do not give it out. Don't be saved. But the most important thing, don't take. For the fact is borrowing and giving back. <laughs> Avoid it. Number four is salt. Do not take salt for anyone. Sure. Salt is not cost. The price are low. So make sure you have yours. If possible, buy three of it or four of it. Keep it in your house. Stock the other one on your stock. Okay? So be blessed as you do. I'm done for today's video. I would love to see you on my next video. So kindly subscribe if you haven't. Subscribe to this channel. Share this video to your loved ones. I would love to see you on my next video. Bye. Thank you for watching.